getting it, cuz. Send that thing. It's your boy, Chitty Mitch. Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy, Jay Mitch. Uh, with the latest trend in RCs, it seems like 2022 has been the comeback of the 114 scale buggies, four-wheel drives. So with that, um, I wanna bring to you guys a quick unboxing of the new Amarill buggy. Um, not to say that it's new because it's not, but it's pretty much the brother to the Rilaro 114 buggy that people are doing speed runs with. Pretty much it looks like a rebranded version of it. But with that, I wanna go ahead and do an unboxing of it. I'm going to say if you haven't yet, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to your man's channel. Um, so let me get into it. So again, this is the Amarill 114 scale buggy. Um, the Amarill uh, guys reached out to me, asked me to do a review, um, and that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'll leave a link in the description where you can purchase this buggy if you're interested. But in essence, it's pretty much the brother of the Rilaro buggy, and you'll see a lot of similarities between both of the cars when I unbox it. So let's just do a quick tour around the outside of the box, and we'll go over... Um, We'll go over the components. So according to the box, we have a powder differential and main sh drive shaft. Basically, I think that's a typo. It's basically a, a still differential and still drive shafts showing that it's still gearing on there. That's good. Uh, they also have a nylon uh, over your wing. So they call it a tail, but there's a nylon wing. Um, so that would be very durable. Um, there's also an aluminum chassis. Uh, they also have uh, steel dog bones and there's oil filled shocks. Um, and again, this is an Amarillo 4x4 four four, four wheel drive racing buggy. It's 100% assembled. All the wheels are independent, suspension uh, drive, uh, drive system. And it includes a radio, um, the most common radio that you guys are seeing with these 114 scale Velaros and such. Um, and just giving you guys a tour around the box. Uh, it comes, it looks like it comes in different colors. You have a cayenne and you have a blue version. It looks like the one that I have is the blue version. So I'm really interested to see what happens when we open this box. So with that being said, get you guys are in the right level there. With that being said, let's pack, uh, pop this bad boy open. No shortcuts me guys open up the box and I'll show you what's included first thing I see is there is a card from Amarillo and it's a little reminder card around beginners um, and it's telling you that if you want to run the front bumper there there is some um, uh, there is some assembly required so that's key to beginners but I don't think that's going to be an issue for us so just want to go over and show you guys what's in the box just a little bit easier just kind of took everything out the box unless you guys get a look at it what's included is the rear wing the rear wing had to be installed it was in a separate package easy enough to install with the included tools uh in the kit and here's the tools and there's a couple spare parts in here you got your screwdriver phillips screwdriver every screw on this car is a phillips screwdriver except for the wheel nuts they include a wheel hex wrench for that they include a couple spare body clips um so that's what was used to install the wing um also included is the radio uh, with the radio, it takes three AA batteries, and this radio should look very familiar to you guys that are running the 114 scale uh, RCs, the new hotness in the RC game. Um, so that's the the radio in the car itself. Let me take the lid off the car. You can see this huge 540 cam uh, brush motor. Uh, the ESC is capable of two and three S. It has Dean's connectors. Um, and it looks like it has a couple of extra ports here if you want to run um, lights or something, any other accessories. This looks like an all-in-one kit though with the receiver being part of the ESC. 
Um, so that's good for the beginners. Also, you can see here the, bot the battery compartment. Looks like uh, it's adjustable, uh, different positions for different size batteries. So that's good. And I like that they have a strap here. Um, so that's great. Also, there's a servo, there's a three wire servo in here. So if you wanna upgrade your servo at some point, you could with this ESC. Um, and it, it, all in all, it looks like a solid car. It looks like a really good car. Again, it does have the holes for the droop screws, but there are no droop screws on here. You have aluminum turnbuckles and steering uh, links on the car. Um, uh, uh, you also have aluminum uh, drive shafts and the center shaft is steel, and again, it has aluminum discs. So it's really, really solid looking car. It should be a fun little brush car, just for if you wanna just get out on one of the days and you gotta run the RC, or even if you wanna get one of your kids into RC and don't wanna buy something super expensive, this might be the ticket. So again, included is this accessory kit, and it has a lot of spare parts included. So I'll open it up and let you guys see what's in here. Uh, you get the front bumper. Now I've seen in some models, uh, there's a lot of models that use a lot of the same parts, but this bumper for some models you have to buy, but it looks like they've included the uh, front bumper kit. And it also looks like they included some additional um, body posts. So if you wanna convert this to like a GT style car, that is an option. Uh, but the bumper is also good too. If you just if you're going to be running on the street and you hit a curb or something, it definitely will save your front differential and your wheels. Um, also, you get some spare arms, four spare arms. Looks like a pair a set of front and rear arms. It's far and hardware, so the hinge pins. And it also looks like uh, there's some wheel nuts and some screws also in here. You also get an additional set of CVDs, two a pair of them. Um, also, you get a set of these uh, wheel nut caps. Um, also, looks like you get some uh, hubs. The hexes, if your hexes go bad, you have replacement hexes in here and you have a, a, a replacement uh, a spare wheel nuts as well. And also included is your battery. Let me open up this battery and let you guys get a closer look at it. You get a 2S um, 1800 milliamp hour LiPo um, with the Dean's connector, as well as a USB type charger to do the charging of the battery. Uh, so if you don't have your own hobby grade charger, you could uh, recharge your LiPo, your 2S, via this included USB cable. Um, maybe I'll try to charge it up the first time with this, but I do have a great charger, so we'll see. And um, we'll see how long I'll keep this. Uh, I'll probably change out these connectors um, to XT60 or something if I go and upgrade the system. You guys know me, I definitely am gonna upgrade the system at some point. Uh, and then also we'll go over the user manual. Uh, this user manual, it looks very familiar. <laughs> Uh, to, you know, uh, yeah, the user manual is uh, pretty cool though, there's a lot of detailed instruction in here, uh, it talks about installing batteries, it talks about how to make adjustments with the radio, and also uh, it talks about some driving and operating the vehicle, and also on how to do some repairs, uh, uh, so there's a lot of exploded views and things there, and of course, uh, it has actually in the manual, it has the parts list. So if you ever need to go order parts, you can find the specific name of each part and go on Amazon and probably order these parts if you need them. So it's pretty cool. Lots of parts information here, wheels, everything that you would need to buy this car. Um, and then also it includes some troubleshooting uh, in the manual. So that's pretty cool. So overall, just first unboxing impressions, this looks like a high quality entry level RC. If this is anything like the other uh, cars, this is be great just to, you know, if you want something easy for a beginner or you just want something fun to go out, uh, maybe you want to get one of your kids into the hobby or, or maybe it's your first hobby grade and you don't want to spend, you know, uh, 200 bucks on a car this is around between the 100 and 150 dollar range um, but that's going to be it for the unboxing thank you so much for watching
Uh, major shout out to my homie Dave Hubbard, rest in peace, bro. Shout out to my homie Ted. Shout out to Adam from RC Discount. Shout out to everybody who supports your boy's channel. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all be good now. Peace. So here's just a little running in my basement. This is on 2S. Like it. This is 2S. This is plenty. Tough buggy, I like it. So donut action. This is 2S. Imagine what 3S will be like. This would be quite fun, man. Eh? Very reactive. I like it a lot, guys. Definitely, I say get it. You guys know it's only brushed, but it's very smooth. But a lot of people talk about how slow brushed it is, but it has always been smooth. Can't deny it. Can't deny how smooth brushed it is. Very good, very nice, very nice car. Definitely, definitely you want to pick this up, guys. GoPro, stop recording.